Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back. Today I want to work on my spine of my peace, perfect peace journal. And I already started because I thought I had turned my camera on and I hadn't. So, um, so what I've done is just fed this ribbon through and I have inked with green ink the thread. I was hoping for a camouflage there, but so far not so much. Um, yeah, so I was thinking of just going around and around and then putting some hot glue on there to hold it. And this ribbon is really narrow, so We'll have to be really close together, if not overlapping. So I might have to um, just do this very slowly and one, um, one stitch at a time, as they say. I want it to be kind of loose looking, so not quite sure how this is going to work exactly, but only one way to find out. Actually, I have an idea for the parts that don't get covered. I'll see if I need that. Of course, I don't want the glue to stick out too much either. So I would imagine this is going to get kind of tedious to watch. So I'm going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, I'm going to fast forward most of this.
Okay, so my four feet of ribbon were not sufficient. So I'm just going to grab some more and put the ends of that one inside so it's not noticeable. And then grab some more. Got another another four feet roughly. Shouldn't need it all, but doesn't look great right now because it has some of the hot glue showing, but I think I have a workaround for that afterwards too, so just going to wrap the ends in again. Probably didn't need all that hot glue, but done now for the most part. I'm really liking this green. I think it works really well together with the, the brown and gold and black that I've got going on here. Okay, so I think what I want to do now is just go back and fill in some of the other spots. Okay, so now I'm trying to sew through the hot glue, so that's not working the best.
Yeah, maybe don't hot glue it quite so quickly next time. Aside from that, I'm really liking how it's turning out. And now I'm just kind of weaving it. Okay. All right, so just weaving the last ends in there and probably going to stick that one down like so. And this one Sorry, you probably can't see much except my head. Just kind of loosely weaving that in there. And then just going to place that. This way it looks really messy and I'm okay with that. So then I was thinking I've got these. I put them like a so then it would look kind of like a a vine. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Something like that. Yeah, I like that. I had some red ones too. I just thought the the cream colored ones would be nicer. And two, if I feel it needs anything else, I could always go back in and tuck some more things in there. But for now, I think that's good. And then I was thinking I would like to put in a belly band or something today. Just actually start working on some of the things that I have. Well, there's a ready-made pocket. 
I'm going to focus mostly on decorating the pages that are the most bare, so something like this. And then I was thinking the snippet roll that I had sewn would look good in there. Hope you guys are all enjoying your weekend. This is going up on Saturday, so I have that a little too close. okay if I just kind of tuck it in there. So, all right. And then I do want to cover some of that up because it looks a little um, much. a pocket with different colors on it something to not um, get in the way of what's there but to kind of mute what's there already um, I know I could have used the gesso Maybe that. This is one of those envelopes that I had that um, had a pocket in it and it's got this coating on it, kind of like uh, wax paper. So I didn't think I would have a glue that would stick to that. So I just sewed some paper to the front and I think if I put like a verse in there, that will be good. And I think this color works on this page. So I'm going to use the hot glue again because it's still got that shiny coating on it. about there. All right, let's put some verses in there. I think that would be helpful.
So I mentioned that this is my perfect peace journal. And so I have some verses already written out. And the theme of them is peace. Because Jesus is the Prince of Peace. So perfect peace means complete peace. And we can only get that through him. So I have Psalm 23, verse 2. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. Makes me think of a beautiful day outside and you're laying in the grass. Just enjoying nature, enjoying the blue sky the warm sun and there's a, like a source of water nearby that's what it makes me think of so I'm gonna put that in here like so and then there's also room for something behind there it's a card And the card has a verse on it as well. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Colossians 3 verse 15. I'll put that in the back there. For the belly band, we can put something larger. Romans 5, verses 1 and 2. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have obtained our introduction by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we exult in hope of the glory of God. This is one of the um, journal cards I have on my coffee page. And I just sewed a border around it. So I could actually write another verse on the back, but gotta save some journaling room. And two, I think I wanna put some paper. I'll put one of these um, journaling sheets in here. These are so fun and easy to make, especially when you have um, pretty paper on one side. I didn't coffee dye it. I'm not going to do that with everything. I'm not going to ink this one either. It's just pretty paper, and I think it stands alone. So, there's that. Lean that a little bit. Oh. Yeah, so that's a few things we did today. And I'm just going to take the next little while and fill this one up. And then it will be ready to go. Alright, well thank you for joining me today. And uh, we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.